Hello children, welcome to Learner's Planet. Children, in this session, we are going to learn about food. We will talk about what food is, why we need food, where we get food from and the different types of food. Okay, so let us begin. So, what is food? Children, what is food? Anything that we eat or drink is called food. Okay. So, anything. It could be like, it could be from rice to your wheat, your bread, um, the vegetables, the fruits that you eat. Okay. Or maybe you drink, um, suppose you drink, drink orange juice, you drink milk. Okay. All this comprises in food. All these things that we eat or drink are called food. Okay? Food is very important. It is very important for us. It helps us to stay alive. Children, if we don't eat food, then we won't be able to stay alive. For staying alive, it is very important. It is very necessary for us to eat food. Okay? If you don't eat food for one or two days, you will start feeling very weak. You will start feeling unwell. Okay? And if you continue to not eat food for some more days, then you will die. Okay? So, it's very important for you to eat foods. That's why your parents keep on telling you, right? That you should eat food. If you don't eat food, then you'll fall ill. Okay? You should listen to your parents. Okay? Food is very important for us to stay alive. Okay? Now children, why do we need food? We need food because it helps us to grow. It gives us energy and it keeps us healthy and strong. Children think that if you don't, if you stop eating food or maybe if you didn't eat food when you were small, do you think you would have grown as big as you are today? No. It cannot happen because food, it's very important for us. It gives, it helps us to grow. It helps us grow tall, grow big, fa uh, grow big fat, okay? It gives us energy. See, your mother says, no, that if you don't eat food and go out to play, then you'll get tired fast. This means that the food that you eat, the healthy food, only the healthy food gives you a lot of energy so that you can play, you can work, you can study, you can do your homework, okay? And it keeps us healthy and strong. Children, if you don't eat food, then you'll fall ill, as I told you, okay? And, but if you eat food, then you won't fall ill so fast, okay? Actually, you won't fall ill if you continuously eat healthy food. If you start eating junk food, which is the pizzas that you eat, the pasta, all sorts of breads, okay? So, that's not really very good for health, okay? You should not eat junk food, okay? If you eat, eat in small, small quantity, okay? But all the healthy food, it keeps you, it helps to keep yourself strong and healthy, okay? Now, children, you must be wondering that where do you get the food from? We eat food every day, but we don't know where we get it from, right? So, you should know where we get our food from. We mainly get our food from plants and animals. You would have seen plants and animals around. You see them every day. There are so many trees in the garden or where you go outside. And you see animals. You see dogs. You see cats. You see um, cows. You see buffaloes. You see all sorts of other animals, right? So, from plants and animals, we get food. We eat plants, plant products, animals and animal products. Now, plants. You would be wondering that how can someone eat the whole plant? We don't eat the whole plant. We use some, we eat some specific parts of the plant. Suppose we can eat the roots of the plant or we can eat the leaves of the plant. Okay, 
so in roots suppose um, we can eat the carrot carrot it's a plant root so carrots are a carrot that's root even beetroot is a root okay and in leaves you can have spinach you can have many other sorts of leaves okay so spinach spinach then you have lettuce okay so these are plants okay this comprises of plants now what will be in plant products in plant products you will have fruits you will have vegetables okay something that you really need okay everybody eats fruits and vegetable every day right so plants and plant products they're really very important for us okay they give us a lot of energy now animal and animal products now animals okay so animals you would be thinking that we eat the whole animal yes people do eat the whole animal but like first they cut, like this eat specific parts of animals suppose chicken you can eat the legs of the chicken you can eat the whole chicken actually but you first need to cook it and then eat it so fish can be eaten chicken can be eaten okay many more animals can be eaten and some specific parts of animal can be eaten now animal product so what will be animal products so animal products can be the products that these comprise of a few products that we eat daily we need daily animal product could be milk they it could be butter it could be egg okay milk we get from cow buffalo goat sheep butter is made from milk butter and cheese and curd they're all made from milk okay and egg egg chicken lays okay so animal products and animals are also widely eaten okay so plants plant products animals and animal products are where we get the food from and they help us to survive now children on the basis of what people eat they classified into two main categories that is vegetarian and non vegetarian okay we are going to discuss about what vegetarian and non vegetarian are now children what do you mean by vegetarian food so vegetarian food is the food which we get from plants or the food which does not consist of any animal food item is known as vegetarian food this means the people who are vegetarian they only eat plant and plant products they uh, they do not eat they strictly don't eat any animal food okay they do not eat any parts of animals and some people don't even eat any animal products but uh, there are usually the vegetarians they eat animal products they only eat animal products but do not eat meat or flesh of any animal they just don't eat this okay but they can have animal products so animal products like egg milk cheese and many more such products are there these animal products they can be consumed by vegetarians but they will not eat any animal body part like meat or flesh okay and the some, some vegetarians who do not eat even animal products they usually have to live on fruit